All right, welcome to our viewers in the United States and all around the world. This is New Day. It's Wednesday, March 20th, 6 o'clock here in New York. Allison is off. Erica Hill joins me. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I, I would give you anything, right? You are a giver, John. Yeah, I'm a giver. So yes. Take that in consideration as I'm about to say what I'm about to say. Okay. All right. You get nothing. Hmm. All right. It's a wonderful quote from Charlie and the Chocolate. With the cloud of the Russia investigation and, frankly, a lot more <laughs> looming large over his presidency, Mr. Trump is doubling down on his grievances, bringing them off Twitter and into the real world, once again attacking the late Senator John McCain, saying he never was and never will be a fan. Those comments coming as the president sat next to his new friend on the global stage, Brazilian leader Jair Bolsonaro, the so-called Trump of the tropics. Mr. Trump also taking aim at social media companies, accusing them without proof of colluding against him and smiling as Brazil's president attacked the free press. Let's begin with CNN Sarah Murray. October's Lion Air flight breaking overnight. Bloomberg reporting an off-duty pilot kept that doomed plane from crashing just one day before the 737 MAX 8 went down. CNN's Melissa Bell. A source tells CNN prosecutors are offering to drop the charges against New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft and others who are accused of soliciting prostitution at a Florida spa. As you can imagine, though, there is a catch here. CNN's Rosa Flores is live. CNN poll of Democrats and Democratic-leaning voters has Joe Biden on for the first debates. Has at least one candidate changing his approach. The rules require candidates earn at least 1% in support of a series of public polls of Democratic voters or, or attract 65,000 individual donors. Joining me now, 2020 Democratic candidate. Be here. You are heavily focused on that or there. Well, uh, we want to make both of them, so we're, you know... Working on the polling, too. That's right. But at the same time, so you've put out, the Washington Post actually likened this video that you put out, the Delaney Debate Challenge. They likened it to an infomercial for Ginsu Knives. Uh, but you are trying to get to that magic number of 65,000 individual donors, and you have an interesting proposition. They donate a dollar. You donate two to charity. We reached out to the DNC for comment. They didn't. We meet you know, both of each of the criteria that's been established, yeah. So we'll be watching that. We'll be watching the counter. Uh, we yes. know there are some tickers on other people's websites, too. Yes. We, should, we should point that out. I you're, mean, my camp you talk about bipartisanship. Yes. You, are, you don't shy away from the word capitalism. You're an entrepreneur, a successful yes. businessman. But you also have a lot of support for social programs. Socialism, uh, at least in some circles, has become a dirty word. How do you feel about it? So it interesting is that you have a real, you want this to be a real bipartisan approach to solving those problems. What makes you confident that you're the person that can unite not only a divided country, but a very divided Congress? Yes, you have experience in Congress, but still. Yes, well, I was, I was ranked one of the things that you talk about that are very important to you. Public education, yes. you talked about social programs, infrastructure. Yes. Um, and yet some of the hottest topics on the campaign trail that we are hearing, we're going to do a little lightning sure. round here to yeah, get yeah. your take, are none of those things. There are calls to expand the Supreme Court. Where do you stand? Electoral College and really giving people their vote. Yes. If I were starting from scratch, going to change. You need the small states to decide to do it as part of the way we amend the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And they're just not going to agree to it. What about reparations? So, again, I support... The so, um, there's a lot of talk about who the candidate will be and what that candidate will look like, especially in 2020. Yes. And how it just may not be the right time for a white man. How do you feel about that discussion? I think the Democratic... Ideas will be following. Thank you. John Delaney, thank you. CNN will host a presidential town...